Today we're back at Sofitel Dubai, the obelisk with a big surprise. This incredible five-star hotel with 51 floors is located in healthcare city, offers incredible views, has amazing staff, and has probably some of the most luxurious rooms in Dubai. So let's check it out. Upon entering this one-of-a-kind hotel, you are instantly transported to the time of the pharaohs. The lobby itself is such an incredible sight with huge ceilings and this massive falcon. And if you want to see more about the lobby, please check out my other videos. This time I had a check-in in Kiswahili, the fourth language that I've been checked in in this hotel, and we were off to the room. Here we are in a one-bedroom corner suite. Absolutely amazing room type in this hotel. The entire hotel, as you know, is our absolute favorite. And as you can see, the reason is because you're up in the sky. We're on the 47th floor, the top of this obelisk. And it's a very amazing, amazing room that we got. This is an upgrade. We used a suite night upgrade to get a panoramic suite and then got a further upgrade thanks to being upper platinum. As you can see, everything is white marble, beautiful, very, very exquisite amenities that you have here. Hermes cannot complain when you have these kind of amenities. Gigantic mirror, and this is just the guest. This is the powder room, apparently. So let's continue through here. We have a coffee machine, tea, a whole mini bar. Let's see what's in here. Well, yes, always excellent quality glasses. Also some snacks if you want them. Otherwise, I love the design of this place. The French and Arabic touch coming together. There's a very big TV. Loads of space here to hang out with your friends and family or just your partner. Now let's go into the bedroom. Now this here is just the wardrobe area. As you can see, lots and lots of space. Robes. There are always two robes. Got a safe, hair dryer. Very cool bag that we always like to take with us. Live the French way. That is the slogan for the Sofitel hotels and of course some amenities here and some very high quality slippers. Now, I shan't spoil the view yet. Let's go and check out the bathroom. Here we have the second robe. Let us look at this huge shower. You can easily have, I would say about 10 people in here. The little showering if you want. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna be doing that. But one thing is for sure, we're going to be using these amenities. In fact, whatever we don't use, we shall be taking. Very nice. I love this angular type of sink. We've got his and her sinks. But of course, we all know that having a bath and having this view is absolutely amazing. I have to say, we are very, very lucky. And we are often lucky, but uh, this time, it's a especially exciting occasion. Now, let's go into the bedroom. The bedroom again, wonderful decorations. That's what we like. Huge bed. Yeah, big bed, big TV. Here we have an iPad. You can order your food and check out more information about the hotel. And here we have a desk where you can work. I shall be working and you can do your makeup I suppose but yes look at that you can see the Burj Khalifa and the skyline of the Sheikh Zayed Road from your bed amazing and not just that you have wraparound windows you can have your little tea and coffee here enjoy the incredible view again look at this We're really looking forward to seeing the night view because that's very special. We have always either a Bose or a Harman speaker, excellent quality. So you can pump the music because the soundproofing is great in this hotel. Now, as you can see, the Burj Khalifa is there and all the iconic buildings down here. You can watch the cars. It's just like, I can't really explain it. It just, you feel like you're not in the real world somehow. And yet you are. I was very lovely. 
called us to inform us in Swahili because they are very multilingual here. And if you can speak Swahili to your fellow Kenyans, why would you not do that? In fact, our whole check-in experience with Sandra was in Swahili. That was also a little highlight for me. Now, um, they're bringing us some free drinks vouchers. Very welcome. But let's continue and check out the rest of the room. Now, when I mean the rest of the room, I mean the rest of the view. As you can see, the views go all around. And you can see many of Dubai's iconic buildings and attractions from this room. Absolutely incredible. And just waiting to see what the view will be like at night when the lights go out in this room and the lights go on outside. You can even see Dubai Creek. This is very, very incredible. What else is there to do in this hotel? There is a world-class French restaurant downstairs called Brasserie Bouloud, where we have been before. I can 1 million percent recommend this. I have never eaten such delicious prawns in my life. And I have to be honest, I'm not usually a fan of European food, but this French restaurant just blows your mind. We had, we came in truffle season, we had some incredible truffle pasta and a truffle tart flambe, and we had snails that was just escargot, perfect, fantastic restaurant on the second floor, and that's also where breakfast is. We've also been to Taiko, which is the Japanese restaurant, also incredible. We had a few selection of things there, you know, it is a bit expensive, but once in a blue moon, it's worth uh, having something special and that place is incredible. They have all kinds of delicious Japanese dishes and some fusion food too. Now, the highlight is when you get a suite like this, you also get access to the executive lounge, which is on the 51st floor at the top of this building. You also get access if you are a, a diamond member or a platinum member. We are platinum members and so we shall go and enjoy the lounge in a bit. As you can tell from my voice, I am super excited. We are both super excited. Yang is uh, containing her excitement at the moment because I know she wants to go and have a bath. As you may have seen, we've been here a few times. We have a couple of other reviews of different rooms, of a different one bedroom suite, of a luxury room and of the standard room and the pool and the gym and so on. We'll only have a short part about that because if you want to see more about that, check the other videos. And we are very excited to enjoy our time in this hotel. But here's a quick look at the pool. It is a key shape with a bridge going over it, separating the swimmers from the relaxers. And here you can see the majestic obelisk itself. There's also a kids club. And if you've forgotten any swimming equipment, you can buy it from just in front of the spa. Look at these bathrooms. Finally, a bathroom that is long enough and, uh, and big enough to encompass my, uh, my girth. This is one of those hotel rooms where you just don't want to leave. And I was also going to make sure that Yang was never going to forget this day. Is there a better way to spend the Saturday afternoon than having a bar with a view of Dubai, having a glass of whiskey, enjoying this luxurious room? I don't think so. There's a surprise happening later, but we'll cut to that in a bit. Eventually, Yang believed me enough to say yes. And I guess you must realize how much we love this hotel if this is where I'm proposing to her. It's definitely a place where we always spend our best moments together. No, I thought you just found you to be Why would I do that just for you two? Husband. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I will not sleep in three days. <laughs> Maybe we need to celebrate tonight. <laughs> How? A crazy night deserves a very hearty breakfast. And indeed, it was time to try out the Sofitel Buffet. Breakfast is served in a room next to the Brasserie Bouloud and in the Brasserie Bouloud. It's a very French affair because Sofitel is a French brand. And you can definitely tell that throughout the food that they serve. I particularly liked all the fresh strawberries that they had because those are actually quite expensive. And they had some warm options, not as plentiful as some other hotels, but everything else was absolutely high-end, high-quality, delicious, Food. 
This was our particular choice here and there was also a little a la carte menu where you could order some eggs and of course we had to have Eggs Benedict, our favorite. There's an open kitchen at the Brasserie Bouloud which is also very interesting. Here you can have a look at the restaurant itself and the very nice bar. There's a massive wine selection too. And I have to say, if you get the chance, go and eat lunch here or have dinner here, you won't regret it. It is time to say goodbye to this incredible hotel, but for sure we will be back because we have made many memories here, as you just saw. It is still, I think, our favorite, well, it is for sure our favorite hotel in Dubai because we have, every time we come here, we have such an incredible time. Even the basic room is extremely luxurious and amazing, but yeah, obviously having a view like this Absolutely incredible. The city is amazing. Up there, you can see the balcony of the Imperial Suite, I believe. So uh, oh, maybe that's the next review, the Imperial Suite. Let's see if we can uh, wrangle that one somehow. But uh, this is a great hotel to use your suite night upgrades. And uh, that's what I used, which you get when you reach platinum, you get two of those. And then there are like milestones where you get more and more. So this was definitely a good place to use two of those. Unfortunately, Every time we come here, we also get fat, but uh, you know, we could have just said no, but unfortunately we do not have self-control. All I have to say is this is the, I don't know, 20th, 25th night we've spent in this hotel and every single night it has been a 10 out of 10. In fact, it's been an 11 out of 10. Everything is amazing here. So think about it. If you're not going to stay at the beach, this is the best choice. Absolutely. Without a doubt. And downstairs, there's also a mall. So, you know, you could just go downstairs, go to the Carrefour, buy your supplies. You don't have to drink anything from the mini bar if you don't want to. And there's shops around. There's even the Aya experience in the Wafi Mall, which is a 3D. You know, there's loads to do. There's basically loads to do here. And actually, we are in healthcare city. So if you are going to have any kind of procedures, because there's a lot of, you know, beauty and aesthetic surgeries around here, this would be an incredible place to recover. And uh, that's it from us. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos about hotels around the world and, you know, follow us while we misbehave everywhere. See you in the next video. So we're here with the best team in all of Dubai. Yeah? So all my, my brothers. Yeah, I'm from Uganda. Uganda? Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. We have the, we have the yeah. East yeah. African crew here. Yeah. And you're always in good hands when you come to this hotel because of these guys. <laughs> Thank you. Peace out. Yeah.